The Octonauts and the Cone Snail. Uh-oh. Captain, rocks and rough waters ahead. Dashie, activate steering wheel. Should be smooth sailing ahead. Well, at least until we hit the Roaring Forties. The Roaring Forties? The Roaring Forties are a part of the ocean with very rough water and powerful waves. Ooh. Nothing to worry about, Peso. I've piloted the octopod safely through these waters many times before. How did you learn to pilot the octopod so well, Captain? Practice. Lots of practice. And lots of late nights spent reading this manual. <laughs> How to Pilot the Octopod, 3rd edition, written by Captain Barnacles. It covers everything I've learned about piloting the octopod. In fact, Peso, it might be a good idea for you to give it a read. Me? But I'm a medic. Well, you never know when we might need a backup pilot. Ooh. All right, I'll read it. I'm not sure I'll understand any of it, but I'll try. Ah, all clean, me hearty. Huh? Well, now. This shell would make a fine addition to me collection. Who are you calling a shell? Uh, I'm a cold snail, see? Uh, nobody puts me in a collection, see? Sorry, little fella. I, I just... Uh, yeah! oh! ah! <laughs> I feel... I feel kind of funny. Uh, What's going on out here? Oh, me, oh my. Come in, Peso. There's something wrong with Quasi. Don't worry, Quasi. You're going to be all right. What could have caused this, Peso? I'm not sure. It's almost like he's been poisoned. But by what? It stung me. What stung you, Quasi? No, Quasi didn't sting me. I'm Quasi. Tunip was there when it happened, Cap. Tell him what you saw. He says it had a swirly shell about this big. Was this the creature? Jumping jellyfish. What is it, Shellington? It's a cone snail. No wonder Quasi is acting so strange. A cone snail sting is full of poison. And it must still be here, somewhere on the ship. We'd better find it before anyone else gets stung. Shellington, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, there's a dangerous cone snail somewhere aboard the ship. We need to find it and release it back into the water. Cone snail, you say? Ah, yes. Little fellows that can sting you with tiny harpoons. And they have up to 20 harpoons ready to fire, each full of poison that can make you very sick. Captain, there's no medicine for a cone snail sting. Time and rest are the only cure. But why would it sting Quasi? It was probably just scared and trying to protect itself. We'll have to be very, very careful around it. Octonauts, let's split up and find that cone snail. Uh, no, nobody captures me, see? <gasps> oh. <gasps> Leave me alone, will ya? Huh? <gasps> 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 
<laughs> Octonauts, any sign of the cone snail? Not yet, Cap. Anyone else? No. <laughs> oh, no. Inkling, Dashy and Shellington have all been stung. Peso, I'm bringing three more patients to the sick bay. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh. Tweak, the cone snail must be somewhere in the octo shoots. I need you to close them off. On it, Cap. I'll let you know as soon as... <gasps> Tweak, are you all right? Oh, Peso, you'd better prepare one more bed. How are you doing, Peso? This is a lot of patients to take care of at once. Don't worry, Captain. I'm a medic. Taking care of people is what I do. Luckily, I have some help. Hmm, he must be in the vents. Right, I'm going after him. What's the big idea? Captain, you did it! <laughs> oh no, you were stung. Just rest easy, Captain. Everything will be... Oh dear. What's happening? Uh, ships entering the Roaring Forties. Very rough water. Need to get through. No, Captain. You're uh, too weak. Oh, oh, yes. Somebody has to pilot the ship. And that person is you, Peso. Me? <laughs> Peso, use the manual. You can do this. But, but, Captain... You've learned 317 ways to bandage an injured fin. You've performed crevectomies in the frozen Arctic. Oh. Those are medic skills. And I've done those things lots of times. But there was a first time. We're all counting on you. I... I... I have to try. Tunip, keep an eye on my patience. <laughs> all right. Um, autopilot off. Activate steering wheel and turn on the octolift. to the steering wheel. Uh-oh. Big rock. What do I do? It says don't steer, but I have to steer around the rock or we crash. Keep one hand on the wheel. Use the other to engage the rudder. You can do this, Peso. Huh? Engage? Rudder? Whoa! Maybe I can do this. This. What do I do? Rocks and rough waters. It's not in here. What do I do? You do the one thing that isn't in the manual. Trust yourself. Trust myself? But I'm a medic. I don't pilot ships. I take care of people. Hold on. I am taking care of people. Everybody on board the Octopod is counting on me. I can. On ship, Peso's in danger. Must hold on. Flappity flippers. We're out of the roaring forties. I did it. Now to switch the ship back to autopilot. Check on my patience. Ah! Hey, so look out, cone snail. Huh? Hey, so I'm, I'm all right. Wow, the ship's manual really did come in handy in more ways than one. 
Sorry for all the trouble. I, I was scared, see? And I was only trying to protect myself, see? No hard feelings, eh? No, just a bit of a sore paw. Tweak, open the octo hatch so our cone snail friend can go free. Sure thing, Cap. See you later, see? Bye bye. 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 Whee! Peso, I was very proud of you today. You saved the ship. I'm just glad everyone's feeling better. Uh, you might want to tell that to the Vegemals, matey. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs>